Good morning, good morning, my Junior K buddies and families, and happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. Don't forget, we have our scheduled Zoom meetings tomorrow with our table mates. We are going to be playing a fun zoo animal sort together. We have the worksheet that is in our packet, and I will show it off tomorrow throughout my video. I hope you are enjoying Zoo Week. We have so many fun things planned this week, my friends. Today, we are going to be reading this story titled, Ellie. Ellie is a very special little elephant who has a special talent. Do you think you could tell what Ellie's talent is just by looking at the cover? Looks like she has a paintbrush there. Maybe she's the painter. So this is a fiction book, which means it's make-believe, okay? So this book is by Mike Wu, who's the author. So we could take out this book sleeve and put it to the side. It protects the books, my friends. And this is what it looks like. Sometimes the book covers look different than the book itself. And the book itself, look at this. It's just a whole bunch of paint splattered on the back too. Pretty cool, huh? Ellie by Mike Wu. Take a look at this picture. Do you think it takes place in the zoo? That would be the setting of the story, huh? Takes place in a zoo. Let's see what this story is about. On a bright winter day, when Ellie was just finishing her lunch, the zookeeper came by with an announcement, which means the zookeeper has something to say to the animals. Let's see that picture. Gather round, Walt called. I have some news. Oh, I wonder what that news might be. It is a sad day, he said. The zoo is closing. Oh no, the animals were heartbroken. There must be something we can do. Ellie whispered to her friends, the zoo is our home. So the animals just received news from this newskeeper saying that the zoo was going to close. Oh no. What's going to happen? Perhaps we can spruce it up a bit, Gerald suggested. Gerard always had good ideas. So he says, maybe we can spruce it up, make it look prettier. I'll prune the trees, Lucy said, nibbling a leaf. There's Lucy, looks like she's a giraffe. If only my trunk were longer, said Ellie. She can't reach it, see? I'll move this rock. Gerard huffed, clearing it off the path. What animal is Gerard? Look at him. Ooh, ooh, ha, ha. Looks like he's a gorilla. If only my muscles were bigger, said Ellie. So all these animals are helping in different ways, but Ellie is not quite sure how she can help quite yet. We've already cleaned here, said the monkeys. And Ellie's like, I want to help. What can I do to help? Ellie wondered. Oh, look at Ellie, my friends. It looks like she has a twig and she's starting to use it. Maybe that's where she got the idea, huh? Let's find out. It seemed like everyone had a talent. Everyone had something that they could do to help the zoo come back. Everyone but Ellie. She looks so sad. Ellie thought she'd ask Walt to give her a job, but he was busy too. When the monkeys called him away, Ellie picked up the strange object he had been holding. Oh, what is that, friends? Oh, it's a paintbrush. It had smooth wood on one side and prickly hairs on the other. She's looking at it like, what is this?
that's where her idea comes in. Ellie gave it a try. Wow, look at that stroke mark. Beautiful color. When Walt returned and saw her creation, he sprinted back down the path without a word. Had she ruined the wall? Look at that picture she painted, my friends. I think it's beautiful. And she wasn't quite sure, because he ran away. Soon, she heard a wagon with a squeaky wheel turn the corner. Maybe Walt did like her painting. Ellie added color here and a rainbow there. Ellie's using pops of color to make the zoo come to life. She's pretty talented, huh? There were so many walls to color and so many colors to try. Ellie painted all of her friends. She painted the tallest ones, the smartest, and the quietest ones. Word spread of Ellie's talents or her gift. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Roar! Ellie, the artist! So there's word of mouth going around. Everybody is seeing that Ellie is painting. Beautiful paint. People came from all over the city to have their portraits painted. Others came with awards. Ellie even painted Mr. Mayor with a smile. So Ellie is painting portraits of people around. Look at the zookeeper, he looks proud. Soon people from around the world came to see Ellie, the remarkable painting elephant. Lucy hosted the crowds as they arrived at the zoo. Gerard led tours th throughout Ellie's art gallery. Ellie had her own art gallery. And on a bright spring day, with crowds cheering him on, Walt declared, We are open for good! Thanks to Ellie. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story, my Junior Cave buddies. The one thing I did want to go over is today we have our hippo craft, okay? Our paper plate hippo craft. So you should have gotten two pieces of paper with the hippo parts, okay? His ears, his eyeballs, his eyebrows, his two teeth, and then on this page, his mouth, okay? So step one is I want you to color all of these parts in, real life colors. Think about, hmm, what color is a hippo usually? I think of gray. I don't know about you, but I think of gray. So color that in, and then step two, cut each of those pieces out and lay them out in front of you. Then step three is the fun part. That's where you get to glue all the pieces on to your paper plate to create the paper plate hippo. And you should have also gotten a paper plate included in the packet. So, my friends, your job is to create your own paper plate hippo and then send a picture to Miss Cunningham so I can see what your paper plate hippo looks like. All right, my friends, I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.